you are on the world wide web so you are connected to four billion people and yet sometimes you feel lonely like you are the only one on this planet today's topic is connectivity oh lord won't you buy me mercedes vans my friends all drive horses i must make amens i work hard if you get on the plane in oslo and then fly three hours straight up north this is where you'll end up I am uh, on Svalbard. Next stop is the North Pole. Uh, and by the way, right now you can see the midnight sun. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning. This is as dark as it gets between the end of April and the end of August. So about 2,000 people live here year round. And every one of them that I met and asked, how come you decided to move to, to a remote place like this? They had the same reply. Well, because of this, because of the wild, because of the opportunity to connect with nature. And that's why we're here, to disconnect, to reconnect. The freedom to get online whenever and wherever is amazing. You can talk to people on the other side of the planet via live video for free. You can navigate unknown territories. You can translate any language. You can track your health. You can book and bank and stream. And there are so many things you can do today that was simply impossible just 10 years ago. But the freedom to get online whenever and wherever has also become a burden. To constantly check the phone and what's going on in other people's life. For many, this is a mindless automatic habit. If you drop your phone just to study people surrounding you and, and their behavior, it's obvious that most of us are totally disconnected glancing at a screen, scrolling, and while doing so, missing this very moment of life itself. Many studies and researchers suggest that social media, while making it easier to connect and stay in touch with people, is also making us feel physically sick, experience problems like anxiety and depression and sleeping problems because of the way we engage in social comparison. I'll post a link to one recent study on the topic of social media use and perceptions of physical health down below. To me, we are just immature. Social media and connected devices are still brand new and this era in our evolution just started. That means I also believe we will learn how to live in balance with constant access and not like today with constant distraction. I also believe that this, to learn how to disconnect, will be key, not only for us as healthy and happy individuals, but for organizations as well. Distracted people will be less successful. And this is why buzzwords like digital detox, mindfulness practice, and all of these things will become a natural part of any great culture. Thank you so much for spending your time watching. If you have any thoughts or tips or tricks, then please share them and tell us in the comments down below. And more importantly, whenever you feel the need for some, some energy, some inspiration, then make sure to treat yourself and disconnect and go out in nature. And of course, if you like these short speeches, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the future. Make amends. I worked so hard all in my lifetime, and no help from my friends. So, Lord, won't you buy me mercy?